Character select. Press start. Choose your character. Welcome to Character Select, the show where we take some of your favorite games, cartoons, anime, and comics, and cast them in a dream movie. Choose your stage. Spiritual successor to the pulp adventure genre, few games can compare to the scope and thrill of the Uncharted series. First believed to be a knockoff of the Tomb Raider franchise from the guys that made Jack and Daxter. Hey, wait a second, I like those games. Uncharted follows the adventures of fortune hunter Nathan Drake, a handsome and roguish hero who plunders undiscovered treasure hordes. It quickly won over fans with its grandiose settings, intense action sequences, and humorous characters and dialogue. Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Oh, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Spawning three award-winning sequels, a Vita spin-off, comic book series, and a book adaptation, Uncharted and its protagonist Nathan Drake have become the poster boy for PlayStation. Now, talks around the development campfire at Sony are that they want to make a movie. Fortune Hunters, sit back. I'm Michael Senpai Pendis, and here's my dream cast for the Uncharted movie. God. For my dream Uncharted movie, I'm imagining it as a standalone adventure, completely separate from the past games. I mean, come on, it's a series based on treasure hunting. It shouldn't be that hard to come up with a new idea, Hollywood. Or will it? Oh. This is a... Yes. Oh. As such, I'm going to focus on the main protagonists of the game and not worry about past villains. Sorry, Lazarevich. You will not stand in the way of destiny! Nathan Drake. The quippy protagonist, Nathan Drake, has a habit of uncovering lost archaeological gold mines and destroying them. Nailed it, bro. This is why we can't have nice things. The supposed descendant of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, see third grade history, Drake was abandoned as a young boy, but like many awesome orphans of pop culture, he chose to shape his own destiny and become a fortune hunter, fighting pirates, mercenaries, secret societies, and occasionally radical dames. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. But... Ah! Ah! All in the name of getting booty. I mean, you know, like, you know, like, like the treasure kind. Nice view. Uh, <laughs> men. For him, I picked Brett Dalton. While most know him as Grant Ward, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., or should I say, Hydra, spoilers, I personally know him as Three Fingered Mike from the hit video game Until Dawn. What? Why the three fingers, you ask? <laughs> That's why. Brett was my favorite character in Until Dawn, not only delivering snappy one-liners in the face of unspeakable horror, but also being part of some of the better action pieces, too. Plus, he plays the latest man, Var Var Wall. We're all insecure, but you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Oh yeah, he's got my vote. Victor Sullivan! A man's man with a mustache to prove it, Victor Sullivan, aka Sully, is the Clark Gable of con men. Adopting Drake at the ripe old age of 14, he showed Drake the ropes. Oh wait, that uh... That came out wrong. Anyway, he shaped him into being an avid adventurer and consummate con. Despite a weakness for the ladies, Sully's more than qualified to handle himself in a fight. Equally quirky, but twice as posh. You'll need a smooth operator to catch his likeness. That's why I chose Bruce Campbell. Dash himself, Bruce Campbell is as charismatic as he is dashing. 
From Evil Dead to Bubba Hotep to Fargo to Burn Notice, he's shown a knack for playing a schmoozer of the highest caliber. Plus, he doesn't mind getting down and dirty with zombies and goons alike. All he's missing now is the mustache. Ah, there we go. Elena Fisher. The spunky heroine with a survivor mentality and can-do attitude, Elena is an intrepid reporter with innate curiosity. Huh? Huh? See what I did there? Cause innate had innate. Ah, eh, never mind. Just make sure you don't insult her reporting skills. <sighs> she was turned fortune hunter after a little escapade with Nate on an uncharted island. Oh crap! We're on fire! Enough with the damn camera! We gotta bail out! Bail out? Does this thing even have parachutes? Now would be a good time to look! Clever and resilient, she's helped Drake survive some of his greatest adventures. She even took a grenade like a champ. You go, girl. Since then, she's been Drake's on-again, off-again main squeeze. Flirting, dating, hating, marrying, divorcing. Ugh, it's so complicated. For her, I chose Chantal Van Satin. A cutie who's not afraid to jump into the fray, Chantal caught my attention in the hit TV show, The Flash. She won me over fighting supervillains, shooting sharkmen, and doing some real sleuthing. My kind of leading lady. Chloe Fraser. A fellow fortune hunter, not to mention a serious femme fatale. Ooh la la. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Chloe is a rough and tumble Aussie who's handy in fisticuffs, gunfights, and questionable antiquities. The foil to Elena's straight girl, Chloe can be a bit of an enigma, sometimes playing the odds against both interested parties. For Chloe, I like Rose Byrne. A native born Aussie, Rose Byrne has been big in the comedy scene lately with hit films like Get Into the Greek. Bridesmaids, and The Neighbors 1 and 2. But her acting chops don't stop there. She's had plenty of playtime in multiple genres, including horror and action with the Insidious franchise, 28 Weeks Later, and the new X-Men films. Playing Chloe would definitely give Rose a chance to show off her more badass side, but she'd also give Chloe that much needed sly humor the character's known for. <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Well, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Charlie Cutter! A cockney bounder, Charlie Cutter is Drake's angry brick contact. Charlie may be a brute, but he definitely knows his stuff. Oh, great. Next thing I know, he'd be putting that gun to the back of my head telling me about the rabbits. Wait, was that of Mice and Men? And you really don't want him to get angry. He's got sucker hooligan rage like a No! Dude, stop! There's only one man for this role. Toby Stevens. Starting out as the villain Gustav Graves in the 007 movie Die Another Day, Toby has been making the rounds lately as the pirate Captain Flint in Star's Black Sails. A natural born Brit with a flair for swashbuckling, he seems perfect for the role of the brutish Charlie. Plus, his role as the military tough guy Bub in Michael Bay's 13 Hours shows he has no problem taking on more modern gigs. That's it for Character Select this time. Here are some honorable mentions. Like the list this week? Want us to cast one of your favorite games or comics? Shout out below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can bring you more Character Select. Once again, I'm Michael Senpai Pendus, and remember... Yeah. Keep smiling, asshole. I'll see you soon. <laughs>